at the Bluetooth SIG conference and I'm talking to the CEO of Turnout Now, uh, Harpreet. Um, thanks so much for, for talking to us. Tell sure. us a little bit about what you guys do. Sure. Um, Turnout Now is an event analytics company. We uh, provide 360-degree um, view into what's going on at your event. So, so think of Google Analytics is to website rear to the physical physical events and conferences. And so you're you have a connection with beacons? Literally you have a connection yeah, with beacons. Literally you have a connection. You're wearing, I see you're wearing uh, I'm wearing one is the do you have one on your pulse? I have, I do not. Oh I, my goodness. No, so. I was just joking. <laughs> <laughs> no me of course I do. <laughs> okay. So those are very small beacons. Yeah. Because they don't have to last very long. They just well, yeah, they, the batteries last actually for a few months, but for our purposes, we only you know need for a few days. But yes, they last up to six to eight weeks, even beyond that. But events are you know four to five days, and these are throwaway beacons. Uh, obviously, recycle. We prefer to recycle them. Yeah. Not for us, but you know. For the, so, what are the questions that you're providing the answers to with your analytics? So. Our core audience is three different um, core audiences, right? One is the event organizers. Uh, they look at the, they get insights into the, how the event is going overall, um, you know, how the exhibitors are doing, how the attendees are doing, um, and the exhibitors, they get feedback, they get the data um, for people who stop by at their booth. Um, you know, we kind of replace the typical handheld lead scanning. You no longer have to do that because all the analytics is done passively. All you need is um, have our app installed or have our uh, proper ID receiver in your booth and then you can just engage uh, with your uh, prospective customer and we capture all the data for you. So tell us a bit more about, so I, I, I need to basically stick those beacons on the passes and then what, what is the receiver infrastructure that I need to put in place? So a uh, very good question. Uh, so it's a small beacon uh, that goes on a badge and we associate that with your badge. So yep. we now th know that this beacon belongs to you. Then we have our receivers placed throughout the show floor and they are self-basically contained uh, we do not need any power, uh, no electricity, no Wi-Fi. They are they have built-in 4G LTE connection, so we deploy them strategically throughout the show floor, and they capture data and they send it to our cloud. And our cloud is what does all the processing. Okay. And then quite the And so let's go and can you show us the kind of data that you can present yeah, to absolutely. the customer? Uh, so this is a typical event. Uh, you know, we can look at this is our main dashboard. Mm -hmm. uh, as a as an event organizer, you would have access to this. You will, you can see, for example, what are the uh, different, you know, what is traffic for the exhibit hall, what the session traffic is, what the common areas are, and this is all, by the way, live data. Okay. Um, and as it's updating every, the data is being sent every few seconds to our servers, yeah. or to a cloud and getting processed. The traffic trending, you can see, it will be all live. Will give you a top. Exhibitors top 10 sessions and so forth. Mm -hmm. You can further drill down into um, exhibit hall, and as an event organizer, you can see what's going on, the trends, what are your traffic, average stay time, mm -hmm. boots were, um, visited per attendee, so forth. You can slice and dice the data by different, you know, segmentation, different demographics. You can say, okay, well, slice it by the job titles, by company organization, company size, and so forth. And then you can get a list of each exhibitor. You can drill down into them and see how each exhibitor is doing, how many people stopped by, how long did this stay, and so forth. From the session point of view, you can see how much traffic was going on in a session um, and how many attendees attended. We actually, some of our customers use our tracking to issue CEU credits continuing education units, and especially for medical you know, conferences. Um, in the past, they had to use handheld scanners. They would have one or two people standing at the gate okay. and to track that. With our technology, you don't, no, no longer need to do that. So some of the data is aggregated, but you can actually have individual, personally identifiable information that Correct. is actionable. So you can do follow-up. Oh, absolutely. For yeah. exhibitors, for example, we, we use um, uh, machine learning and artificial intelligence to actually make recommendations to exhibitors. We all know, we all go to these events. The number one problem at these events is not lack of leads, it's the lack of qualified leads. Right. Um, so you capture those 20, 200, 300 uh, business cards. Now, who do you call first? 
Now, using our analytics, we know what this person has done. We know what other exhibitors this person has visited or what session that person talked to. For example, at this event, you stopped by at BLA. You mentioned you're doing a talk on BLA. We, mm -hmm. we will know that you came to this booth, mm -hmm. then you also went to you did a, uh, went to the session, yep. and you went to other partners, and then based on that, we know your behavior. Yep. Based on the behavior, we can then recommend, if you show, stop at an exhibitor, we can mention to this, hey, you know, Steve actually is a hot lead versus cold lead or warm lead. Yeah. And then you can take an action. And so who, who are your customers? Who's done this? So our customers are anywhere from, um, we're right now we're only focusing in, uh, in, uh, in conferences and event space, but we're going into different verticals. Um, so right now our customers at event space and conferences and events are event organizers. Those are the folks who put together these shows. Exhibitors, um, they they are interested in what other uh, analytics for their booth only, and then these are the basically two primary, you know, our stakeholders or customers. But attendees, I not at least, but attendees also get benefit from that for this. Now you chose to put the beacon on your badge, but what's in it for you? Yeah. Right. So we give you your own mobile dashboard where you can see all your activity. We will recommend sessions to you. We'll recommend exhibitors to you, and we will recommend other attendees to you, mm -hmm. all based on behavior and demographic. Yeah. So it's it, then you can take actions on it. So these are you can say just like Amazon does. You know, if you buy something on Amazon, the so people who bought this also bought this. Now we provide that real time to you. The more booths you visit, the more sessions you uh, attend, we will give you real-time recommendations saying, hey, Steve, check out this person, this is the person you should be talking okay, to. Okay, so that would tie into the conference app to do that? Yes. Um, and so any names you can name, uh, you gave me some, off camera, you gave me some cool names, the, yeah. any names you can name on camera, of um, customers? We. I would have to check, you know, okay. for, uh, you know but we, I'll just give you, we work with five, uh, uh, Fortune 500 companies, yeah. we uh, work with small associations to big associations, mm -hmm. we've done as small as 200 attendee uh, events all the way up to 20, 30,000 attendee events. Super Bowl 50, our technology was deployed in Super Bowl 50, that I can speak because yeah. we have the act, uh, you know, permission from that. Uh, our technology was deployed in San Francisco, Oakland and San Jose uh, last year. And can you work with third-party beacons, or does it have to be your beacon? No, uh, it's a good question. Uh, we actually started out working with third-party beacons. Estimote, you mentioned, is uh, yeah. here. We use their beacons as well. So th th there are other companies where their beacons are good. We needed a variable beacon. Yeah. It has to have a small form factor. Yeah. We're very open to using other beacons, uh, if there is, in fact. We are always out for looking for solutions that can provide on the hardware side. We, at core, we are a software company, yeah. and we want to remain software, but hardware is a means to end. Uh, so because we can find something that will fit our need, we have to play it around. And, and ballpark pricing, is this like a super expensive thing? It's No, actually, it's very, very... Uh, very uh, cost-effective solution and pays for itself. For event organizer, it is, it's not actually a cost center. It's actually a revenue center. So the, the way, I'm not sure if you're familiar with the event industry, is the way it happens, you know, exhibitors obviously, uh, there's things that cost you, like registration, mm -hmm. putting together the show, there's expenses. But then as you, uh, these different exhibitors, they pay for that partially, yeah. right? So we have different revenue sharing models with the event organizers where you know they make money if you make money they get a portion of that and so in fact it pays for itself our solution pays for itself and then they get to make keep money in their pocket all right very good turn out now that's a great service to know about thanks a lot well thank you very much.